Hey guys, Jacob Molina here with Pro Volumes, and today we are going to be putting a fiberglass backing on the inside of this. And the reason for that is to add reinforcement. And the reasons for adding reinforcement is just to add strength and uh, allow this to take even more pressure than it can already take. And also, uh, with this fiberglassing, we're going to keep it light and easier to handle and a lot less cumbersome when uh, sticking screws and stuff in it, as opposed to the other option of sticking wood internally. So with that wood method, uh, it requires a little bit more uh, cutting and a little bit more mess as opposed to the fiberglass. It also requires more screws and more wood filler. So overall, easiest way to do reinforcement and uh, cleanest way, most professional way, is fiberglass. So we have some fiberglass resin here uh, with some hardener. We have our sheet that we're going to be mixing this on. We have some applicators slash spreaders that we're going to be using to uh, apply that resin. And we have some fiberglass cloth. Uh, with this fiberglass cloth, this is what is going to be uh, catching onto that resin and giving that reinforcement that it needs. When working with fiberglass, we're going to make sure that we're wearing gloves and some sort of mask. And with the mask, uh, fiberglass resin and fiberglassine is toxic, so some of those fumes that may come out uh, are harmful, so make sure you are taking precautions. So let's get started. All right, so start out with the fiberglassing. We're going to make sure that we are wearing gloves. And the uh, reason for that is just not to get the oils and um, stuff from our dirt and oils from our fingers on the inside, because uh, we are going to have to wipe that down afterwards. So I'm going to try to get this stuff out. And here, the inside of our volume, where we're going to be placing this fiberglass is on the creases uh, where the joints come together, so where the pieces of wood come together, that's where we're going to be adding reinforcement. And we have fiberglass cloth here, and this is a weave style fiberglass cloth. Um, it, we cut it to about uh, two inches wide and um, a little bit longer than the actual crease itself, just to give us some working room there. So that's what it is going to look like. Uh, we are going to be using two per uh, edge, and it's best to use two or three, just depending on the reinforcement that you are going to need. So uh, we've already checked that these all fit, and uh, we're ready to move on to the next step, which is getting our fiberglass prepared. And to do that, we're going to go over here with our mixing sheet and our spreaders. So for this, uh, we are not going to mask up at the moment uh, just because we are going to do some talking so we want you guys to hear us but um, when doing this it is definitely best to mask up and here we just have some body filler which would be used on cars and other stuff like that uh, this does work on wood so uh, this works this product for right here is not for sale but we will include links on stuff that we recommend uh, things like fiberglass um, the bondo the fiberglass resin that comes with the hardener and the can uh, that one we have used and works really well uh, we've also used kitty hair and that is evercoat so uh, when with that one we used the short hair and we found that one works really well just because it already has the fibers included and you don't have to work with the uh, cloth or mat like we are going to now and we found that works just as well and is actually easier to put on uh, as opposed to doing all the cloth so we're gonna get this opened up with our paint can opener so with this fiberglass uh, resin. It comes in somewhat of a paste-like form and uh, is easy to spread. Uh, what we are going to do is add some hardener once we get some on the uh, sheet here that we have 
And we're going to start with a small amount just so we can apply quickly because this stuff does dry and um, takes about eight minutes to actually start hardening before you can uh, start keep spreading it. So, and that definitely goes into how much hardener you put into it. So let's get a little glob here. Pretty good amount. And this stuff is pretty strong, like we said. Uh, we normally would be wearing a mask, but since we're trying to uh, talk through the video, we are not. So um, we do suggest you guys do that. So we're just going to kind of spread some of this out so we can apply that hardener cream. And for this, what we're going to do is just draw a line on that hardener with the cream. Got that hardener on, and what we're gonna do next is just go ahead and mix it up so we can start using it. And it's just best to get all that hardener, that cream that's in there, to just spread and make contact with all of that resin that you put, so. All right, so once you have that mixed, you are going to start applying the hardener into the volume and you aren't going to have put any strips down quite yet you're just going to lay that filler down with the resin so uh, next we're going to apply the cloth strips over here and what this is doing is allowing for the cloth strips to have something to grab onto so we are going to try to apply everywhere that we can that we know that strip will be touching and like I said it's about two inches wide so and time is of the essence for this method um, we definitely have to work quick so we are trying to do that and work effectively so next what we're going to do is just apply our strip try to apply that evenly to where it goes over and touches all the fiberglass that we laid down, all that resin that we laid down. And once you got that applied, you're going to start applying more resin on top of that. And it looks like we need a little bit more for this particular spread here. Um, but start on one side and try to evenly apply.
All that fiberglass has been applied and next what we're going to have to do is just wait for it to dry so we can come back and do the sanding process. So we're going to wait for that and be back. So we just finished sanding down the inside of the volume and overall it looks pretty sweet. Um, the fiberglass it looks really good in here, smoothed out and uh, overall just adds that nice reinforcement. So uh, if there's any other cleaning up you need to do on the outside, we did that as well. Uh, you guys do the same and you are ready for the next steps which are uh, to put paint and texture. And um, one more thing that I did forget is to make sure that you can stick your volume inserts in and they will go all the way through. So if there's fiberglass on those uh, edges to where the volume inserts are, you want to take something and go ahead and remove all that uh, access fiberglass that's covering it. So it is a messy process and uh, in the process of doing the fiberglassing, we make sure to wear a mask some ear protection and some eyewear as well as our full bodies being covered and um, make sure to have some sort of ventilation in our shop and we suggest you do the same and uh, we hope you stay tuned for the next videos and thank you guys for watching please hit the like button please hit the subscribe and if you haven't already go check out the website provolumes.com where we have over 30 plus volumes and um, we have a bunch of tips and tricks on how to make those. So thank you guys. This is Jacob.